Okay, so we're starting to lay brick at a corner pool location. What we want to do is sprinkle some sand on the corner pool bracket. That does two things. One, it helps us remove the bracket later and freeze it up because it's not pinched between the brick. Two, if this piece of metal is thinner than the mortar joint, this helps you maintain a level brick without it taken to a dip. And also, if you hold your brick level and there's a gap, that's a place for mortar to ooze into. Furthermore, you'll notice I have a nice full spread here, but here I held back the spread. This is intentional. We're not gonna be able to strike this bed joint beyond this bracket. So we don't want this filled with mortar. If it fills with mortar, we have to chisel it out later whenever we patch the corner pull hole. When we pull this pull out and we point this void in, we will get this area at that time. Remember, pull them as you go, and if you're on conventional scaffold, you can get to it, then patch it and point it as you go. If you're on a hydro or a crank, you're gonna have to patch your holes as you bring the towers down. Always dampen it whenever you go to point it because this will just suck the moisture right out of that little bit of mortar and it will set up differently than the rest. So make sure it's wet before you point it in. You'll see, whenever we set our first bricks, Keep your area clear of mortar. Now I'm going to tuck in a corner pull hole. Now we're gonna pretend that this is done after the fact, just like it is here, and this mortar is all hard, this brick is set. If I just pulled the pull and this wall was all fresh, I would just point it in. But if I'm pointing a corner pull hole after the fact, I'm gonna dampen the wall first. If you have a little spray bottle, that's great. If not, get a bucket of water on the job site, dip the tip of your trowel or something in there and dampen that. This mortar, will set up super quick when you point this hole. Too quick, it'll stand out like a sore thumb. It'll be a different color. You might not eat, achieve the proper strength. So always wet the corner pull hole before you strike it in. You have no choice but to come in on the face. So you're gonna wanna be as neat as possible. If you're right-handed like me, you're better off to start on this side pack, come this way, and pack this way. Or pull, going away from the corner is a preferred, preferred motion. Of course, I can't get all the way in because there's a corner right here. So in this case, I gotta turn the tucker. Another trick you can do if you want to go this way and the handle's in your way, put the mortar on the bottom of the trowel and hold the trowel like this. Now I can go, I can pull away from the corner, pack it into the joint nice, and my hand and the handle is not in my way. Then you're going to want to strike it and make sure you get your, your eyelids. Of course, none of this was struck up in here. It's kind of a sloppy, quickie demo corner.